How to talk to tall fanboys. Nope, talking to them normally, but um, use the leash on them and make them go to your level. Oh my goodness, well, yeah, that's kind of... That's that's kind of how you would talk to a tall fanboy. <laughs> Made them get to your level and then now talking starts. Life's a beach. There's always a seagull in the way. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh yes, the, the convenient censor right there. Very, very convenient censorship. <laughs> but damn, oh well. <laughs> Good news, the vet called and they're putting you down tomorrow. Heart emoji. And then someone applies my nudes in profile. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that's that's definitely either a bot or just like an, a very desperate OnlyFans person. Unfortunately, they play Twitter and that's why. Yeah, you should just shouldn't use Twitter because you're all the only thing that seems to be on Twitter these days is either drama or countless amounts of bots sending you viruses or links that will most likely get your account stolen or um, yeah, OnlyFans. Oh no! There's a shark! And the guy's like... swimming away from the shark. Ha! Huh. Oh, oh, will you shark? Yes, please! A sploosh- oh my goodness. <laughs> and the guy starts nose bleeding and blushing. And the dude's got like, oh, he's, he's, he's got confused, oh well. And then he's like, running away from the happy shark. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he probably got captured a bit later than that, not gonna lie. I think he, he caused this, he caused this himself. So the guy's got a sign saying, I have no idea what I'm doing, and the guy, the other person's like, huh? Oh my. And they're working in retail too, I would despise so much to work in retail. Like, you see how stressed the, the workers are whenever you go to the store and it's like, yeah, I'm not gonna try and trouble them or anything because, you know, you don't want to make their lives a lot more stressful. And I feel bad for anyone who works in that, but I I do know that most people only tend to work there as like a job after high school for like three years or something, so at least it's not forever. Or if you're stuck in that job forever, well, um, yeah, good luck. 45 furries, one artist. Oh my goodness, well, um, <laughs> that's one lucky uh, fox, I guess you could say, <laughs> because his name is Luke Fox, so. Oh, dang. Um, oh well, what's about to happen next? How to revert to fish. Number one, find water. Number two, splish. Oh my goodness, well, it's like that video of like the fish jumping out and becoming a lizard suddenly, but it's like the opposite here. Oh no. Well, I guess, I guess that's, that's our true form as a, as a, as a life form, is just simply to be fish. So they've got signs here that's going like that way, so they decide to make it go upwards. And then the other way, and then, and then someone gets into a crash, and they're like, Mahahaha, oh my goodness. It looks like someone's returning to prison, if we've seen the previous pages, this person was in the prison, but I think they're about to go back there. <laughs> Blech, I think I got a stomach bug. I got just the thing. And then they take a bug spray and spray them in the face, oh my goodness. Well, I don't know if that worked, but um, I guess there's good intentions have bad in consequence here, though. <laughs> Mark! I love you, huh? And then he starts blushing and he's like, what's going on here? And then the guy kisses him and then links his neck and is like, Oh, also, happy April Fool's Day, huh? And he's like, left confused to whether the guy actually likes him and then says happy April Fool's Day as well, or it's just April Fool's joke, and he's like, hmm. But I mean, the lick and the kiss kind of like, kind of like, you know, I think... I think he should replicate this on the guy tomorrow, like, the the cat dude should do it to hit to the wolf and see what happens. And then they'll find out whether it's serious or not. Welcome home, Jake! Thank you guys, I bought pizza to celebrate, said pizzas at your service, pineapple and anchovies pizza. Oh, I selected the wrong toppings, you are under arrest, this doesn't make any sense, Jake, call my lawyer, Mr. Hutz, no, better call Paul, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I don't like the amount of references in this, <laughs> it's, it's making me die, come on, wake up already. Ha, you're awake. It's cuddle time. 
I need to go to the bathroom. No, don't leave me. Trust me, it's better this way. I mean, yeah, they could pee on the guy and it's like, that would be very awkward and not very nice, would it? <laughs> so they glance at them and then they like glance again and then they go to them and like, they kiss. Oh, <laughs> that's adorable and wholesome. Yes, that's got that whiz right there. Imagine. Yeah, that's nice. Dragons. Oh, hmm. Oh my goodness, that's a buff muscular dragon or what? <laughs> yeah, that's the brain mod right there. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to read this. I know I could ask Ork because he's Polish, but um, yeah, if any of you all of us are Polish watching the video, please do tell me what this means. I'm quite curious, but dang, the artwork behind it though, oh whoa. Anyway, if you enjoyed this episode, please make sure to subscribe. You can find the sources to the artists and everything in the description below. And also, become a member if you want to see content before it's released. Also, check out the pinned comment to find the super secret episode. And also, stay if you want to see who's been featured in the comments part of this video. Let's let's get to the comments part right now. VernonFan2020 said, Fun fact, if you see an anti furries for you page recommendations, it'll look exactly the same as a furry for you page recommendations. And I replied, yeah, and most of them will end up becoming furries eventually too. No matter how much they say they won't, they eventually will, because they obsess over us, they'll become us. Lufus Greyclaw said, oh, I need to stop commenting, and becoming the annoying fan from the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. I should go dark for a while, and I said, I don't think you are. Like, um, I don't think, I don't think so, because you're just, um, commenting helps the YouTube channel anyway, so it, it's not really annoying. As long as you're not saying anything horrible in the comment section, I don't mind. Toaster001 said, It's crazy that parents aren't paying attention to the kids watching this. If you don't have time to watch over a child, don't have slash adopt one. And I replied, Yeah, I don't understand that so many parents just neglect their kids these days. I feel like there should be stuff to prevent parents from having children if their first one was neglected by them. I feel like, also, that if you... If your kid starts watching stuff or like doing, going on the internet and you're not like looking over them because you'd rather watch Netflix instead of look after your kids, yeah, your kids should be taken away from you. I feel like if they put money into something where the government will go and check if the parents are caring for their kids like randomly, like twice or maybe three times a year, and the parents don't know when that happens, they'll be able to find out very quickly. Because if they did set it up to that the parents would know when they come, then the parents will create fake things just to keep their kids. I know this sounds a bit horrible, but I feel like the internet's gonna eventually, inevitably have to have something like that. Because you can't just abandon your kids onto the internet. You need to make sure you know what they're seeing and what they're doing. You can't just neglect them just because you want to watch Netflix or have Starbucks. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have an amazing day. Goodbye.